What's up guys, Patrick here, tour guide and your guide to Barcelona and more. And if you caught my video on Roda, this is an in-depth look at the museum that I visited while I was there. And if you haven't seen the video, click on the link above. Jorge actually knows the owner to the museum, so he's letting us in for a private tour. This has been closed for the last couple months, but we're gonna be able to go inside and see the three separate areas, which used to be the old mill for the animals and the donkeys, a boat collection that he has that he actually made all the boats, and then one of the best model airplane collections in all of Spain. While visiting Roda de Isabena, I got a special treat of a private tour of La Era de Vicente, a private museum in the town that is owned and run by Vicente himself. A special thank you is owed to Vicente who literally opened his home to me. Something I quickly learned was a common trait in this incredibly beautiful and friendly town. What's really impressive is to see how much the museum holds. There are all sorts of artifacts on display that Vicente could go on for days explaining. 16th century swords sit next to 21st century cameras and common day-to-day -day objects become artifacts 100 years later. After seeing the shaving blades from the early 1900s, it made me wonder if I should begin saving some of mine for those later generations. One of my favorite pieces was the Canut, which coined the term Salut y Forza al Canut, which is a Catalan phrase wishing someone good health. Soldiers would get money from family and friends and carry it in these Canuts. Para limar un poco las, las asperezas que habían quedado en los Pirineos después de la guerra de, de, la guerra de, 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 de los franceses con Napoleón, pues quedaron muchos resabios entre los pastores, la gente con, con linderos cerca y todo esto, y se hizo esta exposición en Zaragoza. Eh, se compró esta máquina que sirve para seleccionar el trigo. Es una máquina que trajo mucho adelanto a la agricultura porque... Eh, antiguamente, es de 1851, eh, antiguamente la, la selección del trigo se hacía con los cedazos estos que verás por las paredes, pero la mitad de, la, de las semillas se quedaban, se quedaban y, y volvían a la tierra y entonces las cosechas no eran buenas porque ya crecía, crecía el trigo y la hierba prácticamente junto y, y entonces esto ya depuraba completamente el trigo. Como te digo, fue un adelanto magnífico para la, para la agricultura. The upstairs is divided into two different sections. The model planes comprise one of the best collections in Spain, and I guess I should have been more impressed than I was with them, but it's hard to do so when you have over 60 model boats made by Vicen himself. We're talking about boats from all sorts of different periods. Roman longships, the trio of ships Columbus took to the New World, and even river ferries. The Titanic itself was on display, and it was such a well-done model it was requested to be on display in Madrid by the Defense Ministry. The only thing missing were Jack and Rose standing at the bow of the ship. These boats can take years to make, and the current model that Vicente is working on has taken him three years. On the way out, Vicente offered to let us keep the last piece if we could guess what it was used for. Of course, I knew the answer, but I didn't want to take it away from the museum, so I left it there. I won't spoil that answer for you, but leave a comment below with what you think this actually was. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the museum. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you hadn't had a chance to see the video on Roda de Isabena, definitely worth checking it out. Remember to subscribe so you can find out other great places to visit while you're in Spain.